Hi there, I'm Mrs McTaggart and this is the second video on vectors. Um, today we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting vectors and we're going to do this from component form or from drawing. So hopefully you've already watched video one or done the introduction to vectors before watching this. So there are two ways to add vectors, as I've said, we can do it drawing or we can do it mathematically. So I've got a question here and you'll notice I've got it written two vectors, A and B, written out in component form. I also have it ready to go using a wee picture at the side here. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to just do it using add-in first of all. It's actually really simple to add vectors. You just, if you want to work out what a plus b is, it's literally writing out your two vectors with an add sign in between them. And then you add the top rows and you add the bottom rows. So adding the top row, 3 add 5 would give you 8. Add in the bottom row, 4 and negative 2 just becomes 2. Okay, so that is what a plus b is. This is your final answer. If I do it using a drawing, however, and this has been asked in the exam for, a plus b means I'm going to pick a starting point and I'm going to maybe start down here because I know what this is going to look like. So if I draw vector a first of all, that would be going along 3, up 4. So this would be vector a. Okay, onto that journey, I'm then going to draw vector b which would be going along 5 and then down 2, which will bring me to this point here. So I've gone along 5 and then down 2. This is, this is, sorry, I'm really sorry, these aren't as straight as they should be. So this is vector B. And if I wanted what was called the resultant vector, would be joining these up. So this here would be the resultant vector. So instead of following the path that goes this way, then that way, a plus b is just this vector that goes this way. So this is a plus b here in my blue pen. All right. So it goes nose to tail. So my, my, my start point and my end point, if I join them up, um, gives me the vector a, to a plus b. And if you look at this as a, by counting boxes, from A to B is a long eight boxes. If I just, I'll get in another colour pen here. This is a long eight boxes that way. And then it's up two boxes that way, which is what I've got over here, eight, two. So you can do it from a drawing or you can do it using numbers. And it depends on the question. They might ask you to draw it and then write it down. And kind of once you see some past paper questions, you'll see what I mean. Right, so we're going to do another one. We're going to do U take away V. And again, I will do it using a drawing and I will do it in mathematically first. So I'll do it mathematically first. So U minus V is going to be 6, 3, take away 5, 0. So we've got 6 take away 5 is 1, 3 take away 0 is 3. So my answer is 1, 3. Now by drawing it, I am going to start here. Vector u would be along 6, up 3, which would take me to there. So that would be u. Um, it asked me to take away v, so I'm then going to draw the opposite direction of v. So v would be along 5 and then um, up 0. But this time I have to do the opposite of v, so I'm going to come back 5, 2, 4, 5. So this here is my minus v vector. This is my u vector. And the resultant vector would be this bit here. Let me just do that in a different color pen. This would be my resultant vector. And the arrow that this would go, remember it's going nose to tail. So it goes from start point to end point. So I'm going this way. And if you were to write that down in component form, you would say, well, that's a long one and up three. So it would be one, three, which is what we got over here. So again, just showing you both ways. And just reminding you that if I ask you to do minus v, you draw it going the opposite way. I'm going to do one more this time. I don't have the drawing for it. We are just going to do it literally using the maths. So 2p plus q means we're going to have 2 of the p vector. And then we're adding 2, negative 4. So we're doubling the first vector, making it 14, 10. And then we're going to add the second vector. Add the top row. 14 add 2 gives you 16. Well, I don't know why I've written it as a fraction, sorry. And 10 take away 4 gives you 6. So the answer would be 16, 6. On the second one, we're going to have 3 of the first vector. So we're going to have 3 lots of 7, 5. And we're going to take away 2 lots of the q vector. 
So I'm going to multiply this out first. That would give me 21 15. Take away 4, negative 8. And then take them away this time. So 21 take away 4 would give you 17. And then it would be 15 minus minus 8, which really turns into 15 plus 8. And 15 plus 8 is 23. So remember, if you have a double negative there, normal rules apply. And that's me showing you how to add and subtract vectors, both mathematically and visually. I hope this helps. Thanks very much for watching.